Who decided it was a good idea to give me coffee? I don't know. What are you doing in your kitchen, Talera? What's all this gear doing in your kitchen? Don't worry, I shall explain. So, in case you didn't know, Aurora's very first camping trip was when she was only 10 weeks old. When I tell people that we went camping with her when she was only 10 weeks old, they think I'm kind of crazy. Uh, but really, it's not that hard, and let me show you how. So let me just start out by saying this. Before we even get started, a little disclaimer. Yeah, what Aurora said. Also, is that when you go camping, it's not going to be the same as your house. <laughs> I read many forums and things online where women are like, oh yeah, well I'm going to need like this so I can breastfeed the baby but then like I'm gonna need like this thing and this thing and then like how am I gonna go camping with like, all these things ladies there is somebody in the world right now in a third world country giving birth without modern medicine you're going to be okay for 24 48 hours without like the most plush settings to nurse your baby that's my disclaimer. I'll get off my soapbox. However, there is some things you can do to prepare and make this whole experience and camping with your little one way easier. The first thing I will have to say is make a list. Now this list is excessive. <laughs> this list is like all bets off, like car camping, car camping, like maybe we're going on like on a week trip and we're camping and hiking and seeing different sites the whole time. So this list has like all the bells and whistles, all the frills. Um, we stopped, I stopped at nothing when I made this list. However, having this master list um, makes it way easier each time we do go camping. So maybe say we go for only an overnight. There's things on this list that like I don't need to pack for just an overnight camp trip. Take the time and make a list like this for yourself. Also, little pro tip here is put your lists in sleeve protectors. Not only does it keep the list uh, good for like a long time, but also you can take a dry erase marker and mark off the stuff as you pack it. And then next time when you wanna go and use these lists again, all you have to do is wipe it off of the sheet protector and your list is ready to go again. It's like its own little dry erase board. Woohoo! I've got the list. Now what do I do? All right, step two, get yourself a plastic tub. This is our car camping tub and this stays pretty much semi-packed at all moments because it's stuff that I don't need around my house and it's specific to car camping. And all I have to do is add the stuff that I don't already have that is on my list, and I shove it in this box, close it up, and wham bam, it goes in the car. We just use one tub. Um, I've seen families where they put everything in tubs. There's only three of us, so I feel like there's not that much stuff, and so we just use one tub for our items. All the rest of the gear that we have that's on the list can go straight into the car. So it's larger items like the tent and our sleeping bags and our sleeping pads and stuff like that that just goes directly into the car and doesn't need to be put in a tub. If you want to be super organized and awesome then put it in a tub I guess but the tubs do take up space. Um, these are just small items that I feel like if I don't put them in a tub, they're going to go roaming all over our car. Another pro tip here, the tub top 
doubles as a cutting board slash table. Think about it. Sleeping arrangements. All right, this is the one I get the most questions about from different people that I tell them, hey, I go camping with my infant child. She's less of an infant now, more of a toddler. But rewind like six months and she was still an infant. Coffee was either a really good idea or a really bad idea. Still deciding. Back to the sleeping situation. How do we do it? So we have a two person tent and it works pretty well for us right now. As she gets older, we'll see what we'll do. We might have to get a larger tent or uh, figure something else out. So how we do it is we both have sleeping pads and we sit down our sleeping pads and then in the middle of us we have an accordion style uh, sleeping pad. So we have our sleeping pads that we lay on the side then we take this accordion one and we double it up. We double it up for her and lay it between us. When she was super tiny, so on her very first camp trip, I was freaking out. I was like, I don't know what type of sleeping bag to put her in. Like, what do I do? In that moment, I was like, hmm, I could layer TJ and I's winter coats, cinch the bottom down together, and essentially make a sleeping bag for an infant. You may laugh, but it works really, really well. Let me show you how. Make sure at least one of the coats that you're layering has a hood. Ta-da! Layered coat. So I took the coats just like this and I layered them up. And then all I did is I put my precious little teeny tiny baby, I laid her down in here, I zipped up my coat, and then I zipped up my husband's coat. After I zipped up the coats, what I did is I took a rubber, I think I just took a rubber band or I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to demonstrate for you with one of these fancy schmancy hair bands. All right, so all I did here was just bundle up the ends of these coats. Look how warm this thing is. So, so toasty, so easy, and also so inexpensive. Before we went on our first camping trip, I looked online to see about insulated infant sleep sacks and they were so expensive. And I thought to myself, she's gonna use it maybe three, four times before she outgrows it. Not happening. So that was what we used to do for her when she was super tiny. She doesn't fit in this anymore, <laughs> this setup anymore. So. Uh, at Christmas, we actually bought her a kid's, um, my nose is itchy, uh, sleeping bag. What we bought her is this REI Kinder Cones, this REI Kinder Cone sleeping bag. It is huge, but the stuff sack uh, doubles as a cinching mechanism you can do so that it can adjust to the size of your child. So this is actually about the size and the portion that she uses now. Her little noggin goes, her little noggin goes up here. And then her little body goes in there. And like I said, this the stuff sack doubles as a little cinching mechanism so that there's not all this extra space at the bottom of her sleeping bag because the extra space actually will make you cold. So that's how we do it now. Moving on. Last thing to cover is hiking. When she was tiny, <laughs> we just used to use the ergo, put her on our back, and go for little small day hikes. They were usually just a few hours long. As she got bigger, we realized, okay, we now need a backpack for her. We use this Deuter pack. Um, we chose this one because it's adjustable for my husband and I. The hip belt and the uh, chest height for this pack is adjustable. So that's kind of the reason why we bought this one. Um, and it comes with a really super cool shade you can put it on for, for the kids. All right, that's all the information I have to share about camping with an infant slash baby slash now toddler. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't, see you later, hater. If you'd like to see Aurora and I go on our first girls only camp trip, please hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for more adventures. See you next time. Bye.
Moral of the story, I shouldn't be left alone caffeinated.